jazz, it lives in Philadelphia. Philadelphia has been one of the greatest venues for jazz in the country. I would say at, there was a point in time where we were better than New York. Um, we had, well, I, I said, you know, the, uh, well, there was the Blue Note and, and Peps and uh, all the different places where these young people would go. Even to this day, well, I don't know to this day. I'm, I'm going to go back to 2003 or four. You could go to someone's home and they would have a jazz performance. All the times we used to go to um, the jazz house, you know, Ortlieb's Jazz House and um, Alex's Underground, all, all of these places have disappeared because no one's going to see them because they don't either know they're there or they don't know what it is. And like I said, it all goes back to exposure and bringing young people to the music so that they can then later go to the music on their own. We were fortunate. Bunky and I, for well, the last 25 years of, of his life, um, or the last 25 years when he was photographed, we went everywhere. I mean, we went, uh, we have photographed some little unknown places. When you go out and you see a performer, the energy that is exerted is far beyond anyone running around, you know, Eakins Oval or something of that nature. You get to experience their energy through, through watching them, through watching their faces, their movements, and then you use your camera and it's set on a very high speed with a wide open lens and like a 1.0, 1.2 lens, wide openings, so that you can capture a split second in time. Sometimes it's just their fingers, just it's the way they're holding the, the, that instrument, the way uh, it, it could be up, it could be down. Everything's, the, the rhythm goes with the music. And the photographer captures the rhythm by zoning in on a specific area. It could be a foot. It could sometimes just be the face. It could be the tilt of the head. The rhythm is just there. And that, that's why you have to see jazz. I don't think that you can appreciate jazz as much listening to it. I personally think that you need to see jazz to really, really love it.